we have covered the different types of lighting setup for your grow room in a separate video. Here, we want to concentrate on the importance of light itself. As with water, all plants need light to grow. They use light during the process of photosynthesis to metabolize water and carbon dioxide in the air to help them grow. With cannabis plants as a replication of nature, you should have a period during the day when the lights are on and a period at night time where there is darkness. Believe it or not, plants need to rest and have a nap as they can't grow 24 hours a day. They just become worn out and struggle. However, where cannabis plants are concerned, they also respond better to certain of the seven spectrums that make up light. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet, depending on the growing stage. Photosynthesis is optimum when using red light and the same spectrum for which flowering can thrive, while ultimately green light is optimum for the weeks before flowering. Once your plants have entered the vegetative stage, ideally you want to provide a minimum of 250 watts of light per square meter, but 1000 watts is ideal. Where you need to be careful is that some lights can generate considerable heat to produce 1000 watts of light, so LED lights could be a good choice. Additionally, certain LED light setups allow you to regulate the amount of red, blue and green light. So, once you want to encourage flowering, switching to blue light, then finally red light, will get the best results. Additionally, having previously used 16 hours of light and 8 hours of darkness, this should be staged down to 12 hours of each, at which point bud production will be at its optimum. Let us know which color spectrums you use in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you too can become a cannabis expert.